Using the work of auditors expert SS620. Hey, hi everyone. This is Sierra Vigroal. Enjoying audit from Auditpedia 2.0. Okay then, 620. So we are dealing with 600 series, 600, 610, 620, and uh, AIE is the mnemonic. A using the work of another auditor. That is 600. I using the work of internal auditor that is 610 and e using the work of auditors expert that is 620 a i e 600 610 620 let's crack ss620 using the work of e auditors expert okay so here you just have to see the objective expert ss620 quickly huh? so you here you just have to check whether uh, to use the work of auditor expert and to determine whether the work is adequate this is the objective check whether i can use the work of auditor expert and check whether uh, the work is adequate or not now you here you have to understand two definition who is what is auditor who is auditor's expert and a management expert see uh, very uh, in just one two line i'll explain you in brief and then we read auditor expert who is he is the guy uh, he's he may be a person or maybe an organization so here he what he does he uh, like if if I'm an auditor okay if I'm an external auditor and if I'm doing the audit okay of the financial statement so in case I need any help okay in audit of financial statement I'll take auditor expert help okay but management expert is like when management is preparing financial statement okay when management is preparing financial statement and he needs any help so he'll ask for management expert who will help in preparing a financial statement so uh, who is auditor expert auditor expert is an individual or organization but he's having ex uh, expertise in the field other than accounting and auditing okay and whose work is used by auditor okay and obviously in obtaining evidence and uh, auditor expert include internal expert as well as external expert oh internal expert also yeah because uh, yeah so for instance imagine you're having a ca firm okay their uh, ca firm partner is also maybe a lawyer so yeah you can take the help of lawyer and uh, he will be called as a auditor expert so who is an auditor expert an individual or maybe organization having expertise in the field other than auditing and accounting and whose work is used by auditor in obtaining evidence and it includes internal auditor as well as internal expert as well as external expert now management expert i told you if management need any help in preparing financial statement he can take help of management expert so an individual organize he, uh, yeah management expert can also be organization individual organization having expertise other than auditing and accounting whose work is used by entity in preparing financial statement and they are what they are management expert now where this standards is not applicable understand where engagement where engagement team includes member with expert in account if you are expert in accounting and auditing and you are taking his help if somebody is expert in uh, you know accounting auditing you are taking his help there there this s is not applicable number one number two where auditor uses the work of management expert of course there uh, you know this s is not applicable because this s is applicable where you use the work of auditors expert now need uh, to see we have to understand if we understand and mug up exemption is guaranteed in audit so we do both right understand as well as mug up so need for an auditor expert okay you need auditor expert but why you we why do we need auditor expert understand to understand entity and environment including internal control okay if i want to understand entity and environment i call for auditor expert I, I i may okay to identify and assess the risk of multiple statement okay if i want to understand uh, if i want to assess the risk of multiple statement i can help of okay auditor expert response to assess risk at financial statement level as well as at assertion level and to evaluate evidence sufficient appropriate evidence i can take help of audit expert so why do we need an auditor expert to understand entity environment to identify assess risk or mental misstatement to response to assess risk at financial statement level assertion level to evaluate sufficient appropriate evidence to be so so we need audit expert can you tell me what are we studying ss620 using the work of audit expert okay matter uh, where auditor auditor can use expert so what are those matters where i can use his work say uh, number one for for instance valuation of you know land building plan machinery jewelry art uh, financial instrument so just to uh, you know value all this co complex thing you need help of auditor expert next you know uh, for actuarial calculation you need estimation of oil and gas valuation of you know environmental liabilities interpretation of law and regulation analysis of complex you know tax compliances issue 
now the main question here in uh, this essay 620 is procedure when you're using the work of auditor expert what procedure to be followed this is the only and the main question if you understand the essay is done okay so procedure to be followed while you are using the work of auditor expert so understand nature time extent of audit, audit procedure okay first of all what what all procedure are there there are few procedure first procedure is that you need to understand nature timing ex extent of audit procedure okay so first see the nature the, of the exploit work what nature of works is going to do nature of exploit work okay risk of metal misstatement related to exploit work significance of exploit work auditor knowledge and experience so all these you are going to see here re regarding his nature of exploit work risk of metal misstatement related to exploit significance of exploit work auditor knowledge and experience with previous work performed by that expert what is your knowledge with respect to previous work performed by that expert so you so you try to understand the nature time extent of audit procedure then you evaluate competence capabilities and objectivity of expert auditors expert right so you check the competence whether he has the knowledge okay uh, then you check the capability okay whether he can exercise his knowledge because having knowledge and exercising knowledge is both different so competence what you check whether you, you check that that expert has the knowledge or not capability you check whether he can exercise his knowledge or not matlab whether he can exercise competence or not and objectivity whether you check whether he is biased or not biased so okay so this is what you do but how will you check uh, i mean uh, you know how will you get knowledge about competence capability and objectivity for this you need source okay next question sources of information on competence capability and objectivity how will you uh, have the information related to competence capability objectivity you check the personal experience with uh, you check the personal experience with previous work of that expert you check you have a discussion with that expert you discuss with other auditor or familiar uh, who is familiar with that expert you check the knowledge of expert qualification right degree and then you check anything published pa published paper or wo uh, books written by the expert and you check uh, you know auditors firm quality uh, this you know this essay 220 right quality control policies and procedure Okay, so this is how you get knowledge related to competence, capability, objective. Don't you think it's simple? How will you get whether uh, he is competent, whether he is having knowledge, whether he is capable, whether he is able to exercise his knowledge? How uh, regarding his objectivity, you'll, you'll you'll find you'll see that what is my personal experience with this person? Discussion with that expert, a discussion with other auditor who's having uh, who's familiar with that expert. Knowledge, qualification, right? Published paper or books written by the expert. Then. I, obtain an understanding of the field of expertise of that auditor's expert right where in which field his expertise you got to uh, have an understanding regarding that so determine the scope nature right and then evaluate the adequacy of that work and then agreement yeah you should have agreement with the auditor uh, expert right yeah because one must have agreement because uh, that guy who's uh, i'm auditing uh, my financial statement of the client but he is also coming right in the entity so confidential information is there he may leak so agreement there are so many reasons for agreement understand one by one agreement with auditor expert okay so auditor shall enter into written agreement with auditor expert on the following matter okay what will be the scope nature and objective of this expert work right so regarding that agreement is required role responsibility later on say no 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 this was not included in the role this was not my responsibility so better to have agreement nature and scope and objective of expert work role responsibility of auditor and expert both all right and uh, timing yeah nature timing extent of communication between both so agreement it right agree uh, right uh, make an agreement better need this is important need for auditor expert to maintain confidentiality so this is why we make agreement correct now the next question is factor suggesting need for detail and written agreement so this is these are the factor which tells you yeah this uh, you know is important to make agreement with auditors expert one sensitivity uh, sensitive and confidential uh, entity information right auditor uh, expert will have access and uh, sensitive or confidential entity information yeah he may get uh, these kind of information confidential information so better now you make agreement then you know a respective role or responsibility of auditor and auditor expert there uh, are different from those normally expected definitely there is a legal and regulatory requirement to have agreement so you do that and then uh, you know matter to which auditor expert works related is highly complex so better that you have agreement right so auditor has not previously used work performed by their expert greater the extent of auditor uh, expert work and its significance so this is the these are the factors okay suggesting need for detail and written agreement next you know you have to evaluate the adequacy of expert work what do you have to do you got to evaluate the adequacy of expert work how do i evaluate adequacy of expert work you check the finding you check the conclusion right 
you would see whether it's relevant reasonable consistency consistency with other evidence so first you check the finding conclusion then you see the assumption significant assumption and meta use you see the source data right this is how you evaluate the adequacy of expert work right or the auditors expert work what do you how do you evaluate you see the finding conclusion significant assumption source data use and what is the procedure to evaluate what is the procedure to evaluate adequacy of auditor expert work see there are two questions one there are two things one you evaluate the auditor expert work right and what is the procedure to evaluate the adequacy of expert work you got my point evaluate adequacy what is the procedure to evaluate adequacy how do you evaluate adequacy finding and you see the finding conclusion assumption and source data but what is the procedure to uh, get finding conclusion significant assumption source data these are inquiry with uh, auditor expert review the working paper collaborative procedure matlab uh, where you observe his work you know examine the published thing and all that and uh, uh, your third party you ask them like you know uh, like this and then how how inquiry with the auditor expert review his working paper and report collaborative procedure where you observe his work examine publish reports third party confirmation you do right analytical procedure you apply how and then discussion with another expert you discuss with other expert and uh, you get to know discussion with expert report with management right? so these are the procedure to evaluate adequacy of auditor's expert work so if you, if 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 the question ask how to evaluate adequacy you say uh, finding conclusion and then uh, assumption used source data but what is the procedure to evaluate adequacy inquiry with my, uh, auditors expert review the working paper collaborative procedure you apply discuss uh, with other expert discuss with uh, of expert report with management right okay then if auditor determines okay if auditor determines the work of the auditor expert is not adequate for audit purpose then shall agree with expert on nature and uh, extent of further ask him no tell him i am not you know your work is not adequate further work to be performed then you determine what are uh, agree with expert to uh, and on nature and extent of further work to be performed or perform further audit procedure appropriate to this or else you perform further audit procedure that is appropriate for circumstances okay and the last procedure to apply as per essay 620 is reference to auditor expert in auditor report as we uh, find in all the essays you got to give reference to auditor's expert in auditor's report see so simple here if the report comes unmodified what you have to do do we have to give reference that we use the work of uh, auditor's expert no unless law required see auditor shall not refer the work of auditor's uh, expert in audit report however if the such circumstances required by law then you may uh, auditor shall not indicate in his uh, report that auditor shall indicate in his report that uh, what see so simple unmodified report came right so here auditor shall not uh, refer the work of auditor expert in his report okay uh, until unless required by law normally if the report is unmodified do we have to refer that uh, we referred uh, the help of auditor expert no but if law required then you may okay but this does not reduce auditor responsibility on opinion no the opinion responsibility of the auditor remains same auditor's responsibility remains same if we are using the work of auditor, auditor expert do it does it uh, reduce our responsibility or this responsibility no never no modified report if the report is modified then can we give reference that yeah i used the work of auditor expert yeah in that case he may refer if reference is relevant to understand the modification yeah if the reference that you are giving it's relevant to understand the modification then i can refer that yeah then i can write it in the audit report that yeah i used the work of audit expert also indicate in audit report that reference does not reference does not reduce the auditor responsibility for audit opinion right so so simple essay i hope we are done with entire 600 series guys enjoy and uh, all the best see you in next essay